Hello and welcome back to 1001 Beers. You must try before you die. We're here in the group, uh, we're going to tell to try to get hold of Thor's Ridge Alliance. Thankfully, not in my copy of the book. I just have to try and get it. Um, so, uh, we are here still as our 1001 Beers share. We have a beer here from Brazil, of all places. Mm. Uh, not, not that you can entirely tell it's from Brazil. No, it, it's a bit of a weird name for something from Brazil. But it's first brew 2002, alcohol content 4.8, and it's Eisenbahn Pale Ale, which just reminds me of Isengard from Lord of the Rings. But, um, and to me, this just looks it's like, like a, can energy, it's a can of energy drink. Yeah. It's some, it's some, like some but it is not an energy drink, drink, as you can see. Oh, well, maybe it is. We'll find yeah. out. Yeah. 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 Dos Aromas Malpodos. Yeah. So it smells good and it's got malt in it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, to be fair, I was saying it doesn't sound particularly Brazilian. You've got to remember that there's, there was a lot of uh, Germans uh, emigrated over to Brazil, even though some um, Portuguese and first Europeans over there. The Germans then followed in their way. You sort of they've got the Brazilian footballers called really Mollo and all sorts of yeah, that's proper, true. proper. Them. Well, shall we? Shall we have a smell? Germanic names. Well, look, actually, look at it. Uh, it looks like a light. Yeah, uh, it's it's kind of a amber colour, golden. Oh, that's got a ooh, interesting smell. Medicinal. Uh, the tasting notes say, with its blonde body and white head, rising barn pale ale, after the spicy aroma resulted from the blend of hops, well balanced and malty on the palate, it has a refreshingly dry and bitter finish, excellent with sausage, emmental or gouda cheese. Gouda. 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 Is it gouda? Gouda. gouda. One of those. Try it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure what I'm going to think of this. <laughs> It t- actually does taste like a smell, which is unusual. It's a pale ale in a more traditional sense rather than the modern sense, yeah, does, I'd say. Mm. But it's an ale that is pale, not a hobby beer. Yeah, but it's got a very, it has got a medicinal edge to it. A herbal medicinal edge, as opposed to sort of nasty, it nasty it's quite herbal. It's herbal. It's, there must be some kind of weird herb in that. That's from the yeast and the hops alone, that's quite unusual. It's a little bit herbal. Mm. But is it a herbal high? Uh-huh. That's the question. It says the combination of three malts and a secret blend of old New World hops gives this beer its much, much of its unique character. It's unique. Uh, so it's, it's brewed in a place with. Um, uh, which is largely separate by German immigrants, which is why it's just thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, fine. It's, it's memorable. Yeah. Whether, whether I'll choose to have it again, I'm not entirely sure, but it's memorable. Yeah, it's fine. I could happily drink it again. Yeah. Uh, but it's not out, I would say it's not outrageous. Oh, Eisenbahn, by the way, in German means railway. Oh, oh hence yeah. 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 choo well, Not much to say about that one. I don't know what. Yeah. The clapometer is dead. I think we might, we might give up on the clap now because uh, everyone's getting yeah. distracted. Because this, this might be so confined. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. So, yeah. like, comment, subscribe, and see if another beer. Very, very soon.